Is this thing on? Hello? Of course it's on. Hey, Mr. School Counselor, what's going on everyone? Welcome home. My new viewers and subscribers, this place is also for you as well. Make sure before we begin, you're subscribing, you're hitting that little smash on the bell, getting your notifications on what's going on in Mr. School Counselor. This week, we've got time management. The basics. If there is any population or any group that I'm aware of, that is very busy, extremely active, doing a whole bunch of different programs and activities, that's high school students. Not only do you have to go to school, do homework, study, some of you are in extracurricular activities, you gotta sleep, my student athletes forget about it. Everyone and anyone in high school is doing something other than just being a student. Some of you already have a grasp on time management, some don't, and if that's you, this place is for you today. So sit back, take some notes, and enjoy the show. Hopefully it's entertaining, enjoyable, and educational. With that being said, welcome to the Mr. School Counselor Show. Welcome to the basics of time management. Or if you prefer typing into your search bar, I need help with my time management. At the completion of this video, you will be able to define time management, understand its purpose, and apply it to your daily lifestyle. All right, if you're the type to take notes, now is the time to grab a pen and pad. Before we begin, I'd like you to write down what time management means to you. This way you can compare similarities and differences. According to MindTools.com, they share that time management is the process of organizing and planning how to divide your time between specific activities. If there was ever a group that finds themselves to be busy, it's students, predominantly high school and college. In high school, your first priority is being a student, which means paying attention, homework, studying, etc. However, you're also an athlete, which most likely means you have practice, games, and your team is counting on you. If this is or isn't you, you may be an active participant at your school, or you play a musical instrument, and this also takes practice, practice, practice. And if that's not enough, you have a social life. Yikes. Just thinking of all this makes me ask, when is there time for sleep? According to info.methodtestprep.com, teens who separate schedules for each of their responsibilities reach more goals. This could help you in your daily routine. You'll be able to check if you have commitments or free time. They also shared teens who practice good time management have less stress and also have more balance and success in other areas. If everything is important to you, how do you choose what needs to be taken care of right now, later, or can wait? See, this is where creating a weekly planner comes into play. If and when you can, create a planner detailing your daily schedule. If this is too complex at first, create a planner for the month. If you're up for the challenge, create a daily planner showing hour by hour. Next, make a to-do list. I'm old fashioned and prefer pen and paper, but if a cell phone, laptop, or tablet is your tool of choice, go for it. Robinstkey.com states, a to-do list is an orderly way to organize how to do things you want to do. Projects and plans get broken down into bite-sized chunks that are doable. You're a student, so you need that homework time. Bigfuture.collegeboard.org shares, study at the same time every day, even if you don't have homework. You can use it to review notes and it becomes part of your daily routine. This recommendation could also be used for studying. You may be the best note taker in the world, but reciting, rehearsing, and going over your notes can be the difference of the letter grade you're striving for. Next, and I get it, having a social life is part of being a student. The only problem is when you can't say no to an event. Think about it. If you always say yes, when can you focus on your own goals? Forbes.com even shares five guilt-free tips for saying no if you find it difficult to do so. And since we're on the topics of social lives, most of our cell phones on the Apple and Android markets have a do not disturb feature which stop notifications, alerts, and calls from making any noise on your phone. You'll still receive the information, but they do not interrupt your current activity. In addition, your computer and laptop, they're very tough to get away from, especially during free time. As hard as it is, Put it on sleep mode and walk away. If this task is too difficult, try 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. 
Staying in front of your device, especially when you have nothing to do, sure can eat up minutes, sometimes hours in your day. Last but not least, and sometimes my most favorite part of the day, rest. According to sleepfoundation.org, teens need about eight to 10 hours of sleep each night to function best. In an article, how resting more can boost your productivity, found in greatergood.berkeley.edu, Alex Ujung Kimpan writes, sleeping is of course the ultimate form of rest and an important part of a creative and productive life. Now remember, Rome was not built in a day, so make any necessary adjustments to your schedule as best you see it fit. We covered the importance of planners and lists, lifestyle of a student and the importance of rest. Focus on you and strive for success. You got this. All right, everyone, that sums up the basics of time management. If you feel there's something I left out or something that students can use that I didn't apply here, no problems. Make sure you leave it down below. We can talk about it. We can bring awareness for our high school students. Remember, time management is a level of success. It can help you reach your goals. That being said, I want to thank you again for watching and we'll see you next week.